Working on the last stages of putting in the top on the bench. Needs a lot of hole drilling. So that I can drill through the board. I'm going to lift it up with these clamps as supports. That way I don't have to worry about marking up the top of the bench. I previously took this marking gauge and marked a one inch line along the edge of the bench. Both sides and I have a mark down the middle. I put three screws in each point because I'm not gluing the bench top down. I want to have the bench top be removable in case I need to flip it over or in case I need to take the bench out of the basement. The final assembly of the bench is put together with bolts and screws so that it can be easily re repaired or moved. Between the metal lathe and the wood lathe is going to be holding about 400 pounds of steel. So I want to make sure that I have it securely mounted. All I have to do is go along where I marked it and where it crosses the marking gauge line and the center line. I just poke a hole. To make sure I don't go into the bench top. Make sure I don't go into the bench top. I set the drill bit inside the chuck so that I can use the end of the chuck as a marking gauge. Since I'm wearing gloves, I'm using the tip of my finger as a marking gauge to help hold the drill bit. Don't try that barehanded. This son of a gun is hot. Give myself a little room to work in. I'm going to set that backboard here. Up in the air a bit. C-clamps on here just so it doesn't rock up.
them tight. I just want to have them enough on there so that it doesn't rock up other position. Because this end is a little more warped than the other ones, I'm going to get out a little bit bigger clamp so I can put some real leverage on it. There we go. Now she's up tight. All the way across. When I switch back and forth between the drill bit and the driver, I just run the chuck in reverse that loosens up the chuck and I run it down until it just about locks up because I want to make sure that I have the flats of the hexes against the chuck jaws two-speed drill, high for drilling, low for running screws in. Jerby's putting all those screws in by hand. That many screws in, I can take the clamp off. It's not going to rock up and go anywhere. Magnetic tip on the screwdriver means that I don't have to hold the screws on. There we go. Now I'm out of screws. Next step, trip to the hardware store. You can see the reason why I'm using this board as the back of the bench. It's pretty well hammered. I'm also flipping it over. So that, that rough edge is down. Facing the wall. That little chopped up bit's gonna be against the wall underneath the pegboard. I still have some painting to do, but the bench itself is done. Sit straight, level, tight up against the wall, plenty solid. I think I'm going to be happy with it. Thanks for watching.